So I had to extend this thing to get it back to here where I wanted it, you know, about right there. Away from any magnetic things like I've been told years ago. But I do have it zip tied to the carbon. Got it out of the way. I did tape up the, the connection right now. So now that the stuff is discontinued and not supported and all that other kind of crap. Anyway, I still have it. It's still brand new. I've never even used it. So tell me what you think. All right, here I am being stupid again. So I got everything fixed on the Pavehawk. Got the new motor in, got all that stuff. But this time I'm gonna try the GPS puck on the NASA. Because the theory is, with this thing being here, I wanted to have the GPS puck so theoretically I could come in, hover above the pool, switch it into GPS mode and have it sit there. And my expectations are not that high because I, there's some drift with the GPS. But it's a good idea, I wanted to try it out. So we're gonna try it out on this one. So what I did, and you can't see it back in there very well. It's way back in there. You just barely see it. It's not coming up. It's anyway. It's back there. So I put the puck about right here. It's on the tail boom. It's mounted. It's not touching anything. So it's all good. So <laughs> so I got the motor. I got all the woodwork fixed. It's got some extra woodwork in there to. Uh, help support the thing. Got everything back lined up. Basically, we're ready for a maiden again and all this good stuff. So, when I was going through this damn thing, I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll get this all plugged in and uh, I'll, I, I'll make sure it's calibrated. And I went through and did all my measurements on the, on the, uh, the software for the NASA, you know. You have to you have to put in the measurement between here and this and the center gravity from the control unit and the GPS puck. So, okay, no problem. Got that all in. You want to make sure I can calibrate it. Okay. So when I plug this in, you'll see what's going on here. It's gonna go through its normal thing here. I have control over it. All the good stuff. I have my tails all set. Everything's good. So, they were saying in the manual, it says flip the mode switch from manual to GPS 10 to 12 times. Duh! Read the fucking instructions, spinner! Well, that's actually inaccurate. And every time I would do this, I'd flip it and it wouldn't go into the calibration mode where we have to pick up the helicopter, spin it around on its axis, and then put it on its nose and spin it around that axis to calibrate the compass. So I'm doing this thing all morning. I mean, I've done it a different dozen different ways. I've switched it from uh, manual to GPS really fast. Didn't work. Tried it slow, didn't work. Come to find out, I did some more searching on the internet and got it to where I had to uh, wait after I flipped it 10 times, exactly 10 times, in order to get it to go into the damn calibration mode for the compass. So. <laughs> I was fighting with this thing. I'd call up Chris and call up Joel. Go, God damn fucking thing is busted. God damn it. I haven't even used the fucking thing. It's brand goddamn new. It's old, but it's brand new. So, <laughs> I read the, some research on online, the guys that have this. I mean, it was old back in 2013. And they said, flip it 10 times, then wait. And sure enough, I finally got it to go into the calibration mode. And what it was, was I was flipping the switch. As soon as I flipped it the 10th time, it would go in and I wouldn't, it wouldn't indicate on, fuck you, uh, it wouldn't indicate on there. And by the 11th switch, it would go back out of calibration. So I was basically running my ass around. So 
I'm gonna flip it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha <laughs> ha, son of a bitch, it even did it twice on me. And I've got it, so now I can do my whole calibration thing. And sure enough, whenever if you're in this and you flip it one more time, it goes out of it, so. <laughs> There's your dumbass trick of the day. Don't read the instructions, do it 10 times, and uh, wait. Because it took a good half a second before that light would come on. And then the next switch, it would just go right out of calibration. So, I know that there is a particular person out here, and we won't mention his name, Jay, that he was having trouble with his A-Star not calibrating correctly because he kept flipping the switch too many times, and this was the problem, and I just found it out. So that person that we won't mention, Jay, uh, will have to recalibrate his shit so I don't have to catch his helicopter and redirect it away from all the trailers. So anyway... There you go, we're ready for a maiden, and whenever the wind stops blowing and carrying on, uh, we'll uh, have a test flight and see if this fucker will actually hover in one spot in GPS mode.